I came across a YouTube video called A Chat About Dating Preferences by a YouTuber named Neon Fiona, who also happens to be the girlfriend of the infamous Riley J. Dennis. It's not necessary to respond to this as not only is it pure garbage fire, but it also spews a lot of dangerous and homophobic nonsense that I feel is important to address. Let's do it. Hey guys, so today I thought I would discuss the really lighthearted topic of is not wanting to fuck a trans person transphobic? Also, is not wanting to date someone of a certain race racist? And to throw it in for good measure, the am I a dickhead for avoiding disabled people on dating apps? Spoiler, yeah, kinda, but hear me out. I'll throw in my own spoiler here, no, but hear me out. Now before I go any further, I am not saying that you have to have sex with any kind of person. I find it interesting that Fiona even feels the need to bring up sex here when she claims that that's not what she's talking about. It makes me feel like she probably knows deep down, or maybe not so deep down, that that's exactly what she's saying. Eventually this whole thing came up because some lovely lovely cis lesbians were tweeting on and on on the internet.com about how they'll never have sex with a trans person. I'll go ahead and speak on this as one of those cis lesbians. I find it annoying and insulting, but not surprising that Fiona reduces the argument down by these cis lesbians um, whining for whining's sake when there's a lot more being said in these arguments. It shows pretty clearly that Fiona not only isn't listening, but just really doesn't give a shit. Nobody was out there tweeting them being like, yo, FYI, you gotta fuck a trans person. Actually, your boyfriend made a whole video on it. I kind of felt like you couldn't ask a why not without being accused of lesbian erasure. When you seek to change the definition of woman, and by extension homosexuality, specifically lesbianism, um, you do erase lesbians. So you can go ahead and get rid of those condescending quotation marks. So why would asking a lesbian why she doesn't want to have sex with a certain kind of woman be lesbian erasure? Unless you don't think trans women are women. Trans women are not women. 100% have preferences. But I find that the preferences argument in a lot of these situations tends to be a really weak as shit excuse for being, oh god, how do I say this, uh, super transphobic. And just like a little bit racist. So what Fiona is doing now is setting up her big giant guilt trip basically claiming that any form of sexual rejection is synonymous with racism or phobia. It's really manipulative and just well, really not true. For me, preferences are things that you prefer. If my preference was big boobs, it doesn't mean that I would completely cancel out dating someone with small boobs. If my preference was someone with freckles or a big nose or small eyes, it doesn't mean I would cancel out somebody because they don't have those things. Now what Fiona is doing is equating homosexuality to a preference like hair color or breast size or whether or not a person has freckles which is insanely insulting but to go off a ridiculous point so what if someone prefers somebody with brown hair that's not to say that that person hates people with blonde hair or that they want violence upon people with blonde hair it's solely their preference Somehow, you, Fiona, declared this parallel that wasn't there about how sexual rejection equals hate and, and maybe even violence. Your basic underlying message here is that in order to respect people or to be inclusive, you have to have sex with them. So essentially, as a lesbian, you're guilting me into having sex with men in the name of inclusivity. This is not only <laughs> insanely manipulative, but just blatant homophobia. So a gay man might say that he's gay and he loves dick and his sexuality is defined by the fact that he loves penis. Fantastic. Because sexuality is all about sex, a lot of them shout. Right. But if you ask if they would, by their own logic, date a trans woman because she has a penis and that's what their sexuality boils down to, the answer is often still no. Because by your logic, that person is a woman. So why would a gay person be interested in a trans woman if that person's a woman? A biology's logic, yes, that person is a man, but 
a gay man is still in his own right to reject that person for any reason that he so chooses. A good reason would be because that is a man who thinks that he's a woman. So that's, I see, reason enough in itself. But it's also none of my business why someone doesn't want to have sex with someone else. Let's imagine if you said that you would never date a black person, or a disabled person, or a bisexual person. I'm not saying that you can't have preferences. You can prefer to date someone who looks or acts or is a certain way. But completely ruling someone out because of their race, or their gender identity, or their sexuality is a little bit messed up. Now Actually not messed up. You are trying to create a parallel that does not exist. Saying that I want to date a certain race or body type or sex is not some essential comment on my opinion as humanity as a whole. In your own horrible way, you're somehow trying to solve racism and sexism with sex. And that's not how it works. Am I sexist for being gay? Am I ageist for not wanting to date someone above the age of 70? Having preferences may make me a dick by your own opinion, but it definitely doesn't make me a racist or a phobic. You are implying essentially that people are entitled to sex and that to withhold sex from them is somehow an act of discrimination. I'm also wondering why Fiona feels so interested in who people are having sex with and why. Uh, it feels very much like a manipulative way for her to validate her own choices. Just something to think about. In color and to a slightly lesser extent if someone is trans or not are things that you can see. So it makes sense that they would play a role in you deciding if you're attracted to somebody. No one decides who they're attracted to. Attraction is not a conscious act um, and it's also a deeply personal one. I think it's very important to make that distinction. All the time people's perceptions of different races are based on stereotypes. Being super into Asian girls is fine but being into them because you think that they're submissive or traditional is not. If you refuse to date a black man because they're rough or hood then you need to analyze why. Be Literally? who is talking about racial stereotypes, except for you, right now. Putting together an entire group of people based on their skin color is insanely narrow-minded and ignorant at best, and racist at worst. That's what you're doing right now! K. Cupid did a study in 2014 about racial preferences. People often say that their preferences are personal, like it's just them alone who thinks these things, and therefore it doesn't affect why does society? So why do we care? And if that were that case, you'd expect these answers to be random as heck. But shockingly, they're not. As you can see, there is a clear preference for white men and Asian women, and a large preference against black people. Now I've never seen this study, and it sounds like an interesting analysis, um, but there are questions to be answered. Like, who's taking the survey? What's the demographic? Should we be taking an OK Cupid survey so seriously? Nothing about the results of a survey like this implies racism. Because again, sexual rejection is not a form of racism. The lesbians were being sexually abused by men in the past and so a penis is very triggering and it's just something that they never want to revisit again and that's fine. Who deemed Fiona this like queen of and that's fine? It is utter and pure narcissism. She sure is confident for someone preaching this like false morality and at the same time telling lesbians and gays that they are hateful for having a sexuality. The majority of time people are saying that they don't want to date a trans person aren't dealing with those reasons. They just don't want to fuck a trans person. And, and that's reason enough. Discussion on someone who won't date somebody who's disabled is going to be super short because frankly, I find it quite ridiculous. Because spoiler, literally anybody can become disabled at literally any point in their lives. If you say that you wouldn't date a disabled person and that you would dump someone you're in love with if they became disabled, then you're just a horrible person. What? This is almost too dumb to respond to. Whether or not I stay with a partner after an injury is my decision based on my principles. And you are free to judge that decision quietly out of decency, but it's your opinion and that's it. I, I do not see the parallel at all here. I, I just don't see it.
Here is the insane amount of disclaimer that I know most of the response videos will cut out. You don't have to date a trans person, or a black person, or a disabled person, or an Asian person, or a white person, or literally any kind of person. You are saying that in so many words, you just don't have the balls to come right out and claim your homophobic ideals. Before my current relationship, I'd never been with a trans person, and that's because truthfully, I just didn't know that many, and the ones that I did know, I just wasn't into. Transphobe. Have your preferences and be attracted to whoever you're attracted to, but just try to acknowledge that if you're going to completely rule out dating someone just because they're trans, then that's a little bit transphobic. And if you have strong racial preferences, please try to analyze why you're attracted to a certain race or why you avoid another. Because please stop telling people what to do. I know it's not the same level as beating up a trans or black person or refusing to talk to them. I know, but I don't think you know that. Feel free to give this video a like because I need your validation. No shit.